About now, you might be asking yourself, what caused all this mayhem? It was a messy start. And even an ant can cause a stampede amongst the elephants. Hello, gang. Well, yeah, it was a messy start. So let's see if we can figure out what happened here as we look at some of the carnage. Oh, man. Okay. One more, one more, one more back up into it. And... Whee! This, this could have gone on for hours. I could have... Lots, lots of stuff could have... Boom. Well, he stopped. Why? Why did he stop? Well, and he get... But then again, how'd he get going again if he was stopped? But we'll see here, and we'll see. It's, it's not a pretty story. And see that, see that Camaro? We're gonna see more of him in a bit too. Um, but let's go back and see what happens. Oh, -ho, Mr. DeGrasse had a cable break. <laughs> and bam, he gets rammed into, but to save everybody else, he goes back to the pits. So that's why that guy could take off and uh, when he was blocked before. So here's Mr. Lucky, not so lucky. So here he comes, uh, and, and of course all the all the crap's gonna start happening. And he managed to get through it and miss everybody. Yay! And then he just <laughs> so yeah, Mr. Lucky, not lucky. You know, sometimes the uh, names will be uh, hidden to protect the innocent or the guilty, as it might be. So there was a lot of really good racing and uh, um, by a lot of different people and uh, of course um, it, it just so happened that some of the best action came down to like the last 10 to 12 minutes um, because of a last minute pit stop by uh, Mr. Nichols. He basically got him dropped out, dropped some time and allowed Mr. Vaz to catch right up. Um, and. This is about, I think, five, six minutes before the end of the race. So there is time. He was about, you know, eight seconds behind. Then he's five seconds, seven seconds, then six, then five. And then they run into this mire here. Um, and amazingly enough, uh, uh, as I talked to the, the, guy, the three that they were driving around now, were in a, they were in a tussle the whole time. Bernie and those three were fighting for their lives for position, and in comes these two storming through. So, Vaz here is now, you know, three seconds behind, but watch as he gets time uh, uh, through various portions here. Um, Oh, I thought I cut this out. Oh, well, it, it won't last long. Um, so, yeah, Vaz, Vaz does an amazing thing here. So, about, about a lap or two later, he's gotten up to within about a quarter of a second. They're coming down into the... And it's it's close. Is he going to get him? He's going he's gonna to get him. He's going to get him. There's a little contact. They, they break, and <laughs> that was close. Yeah, that could have been ugly. And again, here we come around with another lap. And Vaz is again closing on him. He's got the draft. He goes to the outside this time. They're gonna go. They're gonna go side by side here for a bit. Uh, Vaz, I think, is gonna give it up coming into the, uh, the first corner. But he then cuts back on the inside. And I, this is some great driving by both of them. Not only is the overtake amazing, but the defense is amazing. Um, yeah, it was really, really well done fighting. Uh, it was very exciting after, uh, you know, two and a quarter hours. It comes down to these two duking it out. We've got about three or four minutes left of the race max right now. Um, and there it is. Vaz, Vaz made the pass, 
and that was pretty much it. Uh, uh, Nichols never got close enough to really make the move again. Um, he kind of stayed with him, but he couldn't ever get by him again, and that kind of uh, rounded up that race. Um, and it was exciting, it was great to see that happen at the end. So, now, on to some more interesting stuff. Remember the Camaro? He's back. Now watch closely, folks. Abracadabra. Poof! Because, <laughs> so, he had this damage, and I've been watching him in the race, so I wanted to find out where he got the damage from. So I'm scrolling through the replay file, and I see, I, I see this, you know, and I, I run it forward, and I go, Wow! That was clever. I have not seen that before. Um, you know, really? Let's let's back that up. Let's see if anything shows up on the track. See if we can see what happened. But I, I you know, <laughs> like, what the heck was that? So here it is from uh, his view. This is Sean Patterson. Boom. He's driving down the straight. He may have seen something. Um, uh, the replay doesn't show it, but... Yeah, just click on his, uh, click on his, this will kind of speak for itself. Uh, uh, this guy's happened? dead on the track. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's out in the, he's out having a come out of a party. And watch this. Oh, uh, did he go? Wee-ha! Boom! Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, boom! <laughs> Misha is, uh, <laughs> is in the pit. John is in the pit. Uh. That was good. Leader that was good. Pits. You got to put out your code 60 flag. Shit. Shea Harris is in the same position. He's doing the same thing. He's all flipped out. Hmm. I wonder if Sean's repairing damage. Oh, wow. He is in the earth. Harris is going to the moon. So... <laughs> So, so anyway, there we are, uh, more psychedelic cars. Um, I have highlights to do from the uh, other events earlier in the week. Um, the Driver of the Day Award goes to Chris Harrell. Um, Chris is being shown here finishing his second 2.4 hours of Daytona of the day. He uh, participated in the European event and placed fourth or fifth in his class in the D server in Europe, and then came back and did it again here at the NA server, the US server, which is just friggin' nuts. But, uh, and congrats to everybody else that finished the race. It was really well done. A lot of good racing. Everybody kind of had, you know, good attitudes, even though there were some bad things happening. So, Chris, you know, um, has finished his race. You know, he's crossed the line. And uh, it, now, in order to not run into the guy in front of him here, he darts over and BAM! <laughs> I just, you know, the boy, he damage free the whole race, manages to finish the race, and then at the last minute, that, that happens. Alright, I'm Elo. I'm out of here. You folks have a good day. Uh, see you later. Uh, uh, we'll catch you again real soon for another video. Bye bye. Let me drive, let me drive. Let me get behind.